Ready? Yep. Start searching match. We're gonna wait until it finds a match. Should be relatively quick. Hopefully. Uh, you are getting into rocket labs. Looks oh, like. Yeah. Shit. I got it. Drop the paper because okay. Three, two, one. And we will wait until we actually get into the game. Or we can start here. Welcome everybody to another addition to our potato lounge with Potato. Logan and Steven. Steven. Senpai potato. potato. Hey, we're not, we're not talking about potato today. <laughs> we're not talking about Senpai potato. We're talking about Captain Marvel. Oh, what's a great topic to talk about? <clears throat> well, I don't know. Um... Gravel may be in a Infinity Wars. Mm -hmm. um, actually, she should. actually, absolutely show up. Apparently, mm -hmm. this is an actually says the uh, says the Russo who are directing the Cap uh, Captain America Civil War mm -hmm. with Joe Favreau to produce. Who did the Iron Man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is, is Captain Marvel's name because it's a female? Uh. Is name Carol Danvers? Do, do you know you are you you once you're my go-to uh -huh. guy? Do you know what her name is? So. Okay, as Captain Marvel, we, what's, we're not what's her actual Shazam, name? Shazam, right? No, sh we're okay. not talking about she's Captain Marvel in this situation. Okay, um, I don't know. Yeah, it, I it says Carol Danvers, but I thought that was the actress, mm -hmm. the actresses who's playing her. But I didn't. Mm -hmm. There was no reference to what her actual name was, or I didn't look because I got lazy. Okay, just bad reporting on my part. It's all good. I mean, it's, it's been it it's been a busy week. We've got, yeah, we're on finals. It's okay. Uh, every time I hear Captain Marvel, I always think of Shazam first. Uh, first thing, I, I don't know why. Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. Oh yeah, and John Cena my Shazam. Ew. You're not happy about that? I am not. Nah, that's fine. It's, it's going to be a wrestling match. I don't like that. It's going to be a wrestling match. Then what, what's the Vin Diesel versus Dwayne Johnson point, Steve? Oh, you bring up... Talking about, and like, if we're going, I'm going to top it here, like mm -hmm. Fast Furious. Mm -hmm. Like, do you agree with that fighting scene being Oh, yeah, I, I kind of do. Was... Um, it's that, that's, I think that's one of the ways you saw. Oh, yeah. You're getting I, your ass I kicked. thought we scored. You're, you're, you're black, Steve. Come on. Don't, well, don't, you know, don't, don't ruin that for the audience. I have played soccer all my <laughs> life. Never was basketball. But um, let's get back into it. <laughs> uh, you know, we know the rivalry, rivalry. rivalry and the popularity between. Yeah, them. you know, it's it's definitely a greater popularity than Jaina and you know. Oh. What's up? Yeah. Well, let's go on to the next one. And this one was kind of to me. Uh, you're aware of who Martin Scorsese is, yes? Scorsese. Oh, very, yeah. uh, very prominent director mm -hmm. who did uh, Hugo in 2012. Yeah. I think it was a very, a very big Academy Award winner back then. It was. It was a great movie. I didn't really like the movie, honest, but that's, it, yeah, it was the plot kind of took it after at the it, end of it. It had a lot to it. It which, was, you know, I gotta like the fact they used old, like the first ever like cinematic film that was ever made. Seconds of a oh, yeah. fucking train and people were freaked out about it. That was cool, but I should have watched the um, movie under the influence because yeah. I, I would have had a crazy trip and I didn't. Yeah. No. But uh, apparently Martin Scorsese is reported looking at directing a George Washington movie, mm -hmm. The General. It's taking place, um, taking the place of the NOAA 2014 director, mm -hmm. Darren S Aronofsky. Mm -hmm. uh, the plot story is uh, the General George Washington school to fend off the band of scenarios mm -hmm. with his dying army during the Revolutionary War. The script uh, is done by the Assassin's Creed writer, mm -hmm. Bill Collage, and Adam C and Joey McFarland and Rita Aziaga. Uh, to produce. Okay. What do you think about that? Being uh, into a different topic about another in a few a, a few minutes. But mm -hmm. What do you think of George Washington movie? We've seen all the movies. Yeah, I, we've seen enough of Lincoln. I think. Well, I Lincoln's actually... only got like one really big movie. Yeah, well, you except know, except the fact that he has those stupid spin exactly. like, like the vampire. Yeah, vampire Slayer or that Zombies. Let's not you know. talk about those. But what, okay. what do you think about initial movie being with Martin Scorsese? I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Um, because highly was highly approved yeah. because it was a mm -hmm. three-hour fucking yeah, long movie, exactly. and I, I fell asleep into it. I, I should have watched I, it. I, I'm not lying. We rented. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep within an hour. Yeah. It's hard to pay attention to a movie. I have any interest in exactly. at least from your. I have more interest in a sci-fi thriller mm -hmm. action movie or something that's a little bit more of like slice of life. Yeah, yeah, you know. But something it's, that's... It's, it's film choice, you know. Yeah. But so I think it would. Uh, I think do you think the plot sounds? I do. Plot? I do. Do you, um, think, do you think they'll have plot holes? I think it's gonna be almost like. I know many people have played Assassin's Creed. I think it might have. Well, Assassin's Michael Creed. Fassbender's doing the uh, yeah. ad for Assassin's Creed, which is supposed to come out sometime this year or next year. I don't know if I'm looking forward to that. They've but... released some screenshots. Well, it might be this okay. year. I haven't released any trailers, but these screenshots. I'm but it's probably for... busy with X Men and whatnot. Yeah. Especially with the Alien Covenant being uh, announced. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be a big Assassin's Creed movie fan, but. I You're a fan of the game, much. I do like the game, not all of them, but. Um, <laughs> that to the... Yes, I do um, I do want to see this movie. I think it's going to be a very inter interesting movie. Yeah, you got to have set on watching something. Because oh, exactly. I, I feel Screen Lincoln. That's a mm -hmm. three hour movie, but. It, you got to be devoted to it. Exactly. Let's, let's continue on. The Mad Fury Road director George is rumored to direct the Green Lantern movie in 2022 or 2020. Well, you know how we both have uh, our mistakes. Um, I'm pretty sure you said Mac Mac. What I say? You said Mac. <laughs> uh, I think that had been the best mistake uh, you have ever. <laughs> I'll see you later. 
<laughs> this is where we take interview. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. That is amazing. Sorry, walking from the mic. That was, that was embarrassing. George Miller, who you got, who did Mad Max Fury Road, which uh. is a very pr uh, popular film, even with the Academy Awards oh, yeah. in 2012, in 2014. Uh, he'll be direct. He's rumored to direct the Green Lanterns Corporate. Do you think he will be good? Good director for a DC film. He'll definitely add a different title movie. Uh, Do you think it'd take away from him doing four different Mad Maxes that are on the table right now? Uh -huh. I think it might take away some of his ability. I don't know exactly where to. Let's you say know. the actors that are playing any main roles for this Green Lantern mm -hmm. hasn't hasn't even been hasn't. Hasn't even been, been, been. Thank God you took that from me. I'm You're sorry. good. I want to know your opinion. What do, what do you think about I'm that? Talking actually? about the George Miller part. Yeah. Of me, I feel like better directing. Mad Max was a great film. From perspective where little, little to none CG. Mm -hmm. It was all on set location shooting. Everything was used. It was literal. Mm -hmm. There was no bullshit. It's stuff we know. It's stuff that you that people actually don't do mm -hmm. these days because green screen is basically God's little view of you can do anything you want with yeah. the giant tapestry of green. I like George's point of view with him being point of view where it's all on set location. Mm -hmm. I love that aspect of it. I, I love the action do. aspect of it. I just think that Green Lantern is a little bit too much for me. I feel like it's too much of okay. a too much of a childish topic for him to, to, to hit on after seeing mm -hmm. Mad Max. Mad Max is more of a serious tone while Green, uh, Green Lantern is more of a, you know, you have to have a cutty sort of feel. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, we'll definitely see where they go with this one. Yeah, uh, when the release is in 2020, 2022, yeah. it, you've got, we've got you know, four time. years for them to do whatever the hell they want. I honestly, you know, it's to say where, where my point of view will be besides, yeah. like, iffy, a little bit towards, eh, and no. But... No, it's, it's one Hopefully. of the things that you ha we have to just wait and see. Oh, or even hope. to see how, like, what else news is released out. Because yeah. there's no plot information. Mm -hmm. The act haven't even been announced mm -hmm. who's getting it. So there's a lot of things. There's a lot of plot holes now with it until mm -hmm. they release what the plot is, playing the characters, and there's, like, th what the story is. Yeah. And you release these little tidbits of information. People can you know, speculate. Like, exactly. what we're doing right is we're speculating about these things. It's going to be interesting to see who they pick for the actor, though. Yeah. Like, very yeah. Cause you, Yeah, because it's different from the one that we had yeah. with Ryan Reynolds, but... Very different. Let's let's move on. Do you know anything about Shinobi? Apparently, no, the um, ninja movie. Oh, okay. It's um, it's in development. The Wanted Scott Pilgrim producer Mark Platt. Okay, I know that. There was you know the movie. Uh, yeah, Scott apparently Pilgrim. Shinobi is a very is a ninja movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't read anything about Shinobi because I don't know anything about it. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there and we'll go on to it. Unless okay. you guys know anything about it, please leave a comment below. Um, I, I if I do see it, I'm gonna compare it to Naruto just off the bat. You I shouldn't. I, well, I shouldn't. <laughs> Well, Naruto is not really. Is it, it, it's, it's, it's not very ninja. Naruto? Yeah, I, mean, it's, I don't watch Naruto. That's the episodes of my life that I would want back. Uh, you know, uh, 400 <laughs> of his fillers. I yeah. Mean, 400. <laughs> that might be uh, true, but 400 actual episodes, yeah. which is definitely a show. But yeah. Back to topic. Uh, I think we'd have to see like, yeah. because this is this is this is new about it as to who as the story mm -hmm. is what the plot is, but it's one of the things that we have to wait and see. Um. Now the president talked to me uh, earlier about the George Wa about uh, Mark, George, Mark, Washington. George Washington. Four scores and oh, that's Lincoln. <laughs> that, that's Gettysburg. My bad. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Uh, Will Ferrell dropped out of the Reagan movie. Uh, really? Reasons of disapproval over the focus of red struggle with Dimsha. Can we see Will Ferrell as George? Oh, I'll continue on. Okay, here's, the, here's, the, here's the thing that he's again. I know. But here's one of the things that because Reagan had all time had Dimsha. Yeah. And in the All Timers Association, um, the AA. Mm -hmm. uh, went out and uh, this uh, opinion. They said it is old, that the decision is, that these isn't supposed to be made of oh, as yeah. an uh, as an as a comedy. Mm -hmm. as Will Ferrell is a very big comedian, and no is seriously you can't take him that seriously. Now I have seen him um, in a this, in a uh, form of a series. I it's on Netflix, I think. Um, or no, it's on Hulu. I haven't really watched any series. Yes, films. it's awkward. It was actually a good movie, but it's very awkward, you know, to just think about what yeah. they're not laughing. But I, laugh. I honestly think because I have family that you know Alzheimer's and mm -hmm. dementia, I think it's hard to dropped out because oh, of yeah. this argument. Because wow. if you're gonna if you're gonna put if you put as a main role mm -hmm. for even even if it's not supposed to be a comedy, you're gonna put him in a main role for comedy. Yeah. You've got to do the decisions. Yeah. He's a comedian. What's he done? He's done comedian. How is his? How's the feedback been? Mm -hmm. If he's a serious film, can he, you know, hit this role perfectly? You know, it's one it's of those. Gonna things, it's gonna. And I got it, even with. And I, I, I would see having a Reagan movie kind of neat. Mm -hmm. The only idea about the Reagan that they would change up is to make it more of a serious term, or they need to figure out how not to be very biased, like for or against Reagan. Okay. Because of the shit yeah. that went happened during that time. That's very true. You, uh, you bring up a yeah, huge. Great point. Because having a biased view to it is one of the things that they're going to have to incorporate, especially with Reagan's family. Mm. I know there's, like, his, he's got great, 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 
you know, grandsons and mm -hmm. things like that. And they're, you know, they're aware of you know, his interest and shit. Yeah. And the director decides to say, you know what, let's make a movie. We're not going to incorporate any of what the direct of what the president is or knows or make, it, mm -hmm. make him look like he's the enemy. Even though they're trying to make this, make him look like he's the protagonist. Yeah. There's going to be some point where they're going to have to make him look like an antagonist in yeah. a way, which I, I don't really agree with. I think you can definitely do that, um, but on if they can or if they do, wow, I should score yeah. that very heartbreaking. Yeah. Well, let's 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 go off that real quick. Um, Carl Urban, who was in 2005, which mm -hmm. was a great one, one of my favorites, even though it bombed in the box office and overall just sucked, but we'll continue on, um, says that Dread, uh, 2012 mm -hmm. movie, uh, that it'd be, it could happen to have a TV series. As Carl Urban says that he will reprise his role as Judge Dredd. What do you think about that? Did you watch Dredd? I don't know. That was a movie. It was, right. it was from the Sylvester Stallone feel to okay. it. Because Carl Urban, hmm. Yeah. He had to keep that face, and I guarantee it hurt him a lot. Now, do we know what next they would air this TV show? Soon, if, if he says in the works. Or I at least what, what suggestion? I believe if do something, it's either going to be Hulu, Amazon, Netflix. Netflix I, might say because it's Carl Urban mm -hmm. and because he's a highly appraised actor, they might say, you know what? Just put it on Netflix. If kind they of put like, it on Netflix, there will it's going to be pretty good. It's gonna, yeah, and they've got to have that core aspect. Yeah, so, and they have a company that will allow that. Mm -hmm. If they don't have a company that allow that, then there's no point whatsoever. Yeah. It's one of those to incorporate. It's a, oh, so a dude with his own head. Oh, yeah. well, hmm. But you, you'd have to understand some exactly. aspect. Like the meeting carrying through an apartment complex yeah. and shit like that. But, I'm going to watch it, but um, I think they need to be careful on who choose to or well carl or... Urban's going back but they mm -hmm. haven't released any he says could happen okay. there's no definite saying you know network wise i feel like netflix would be the best yeah uh, they'd option. be able to do it more yeah exactly which i agree uh, with yeah let's let's continue on netflix and marvel have set up for five more series luke cage which we've already talked about oh, before yeah. and iron fist which we talked about before oh, yeah and a uh jessica jones season two mm -hmm. the defender and the punter which we've talked about um, Daredevil has not, uh, hasn't been official with mm -hmm. renewed third season, um, and it's not clear whether the Punisher will hear the Defenders, which okay. I don't think that the Punisher belongs to the Defenders. Um, he, he, you know how, a minor role. yeah, okay. he, he died from time to time, I'm pretty sure, um, I might be 100%, 100% correct. yeah, pretty sure, that real? uh, yeah, I was trying <laughs> to, it was, got a little Jesse radio up in here, but, um, <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. Damn. Yeah. Um. Panda. Panda. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm pretty sure he play a little role. Uh. The defenders is gonna be great. Like a cameo. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. The yeah. defenders is gonna be great. I can't wait to see that. Well, yeah. But um, they've got to bring an Iron Cage and Luke. Mm. Cage. They've got to bring <laughs> Luke Cage. Um. Have to leave again. Okay. <laughs> I think once they bring in um Iron <laughs> Fist, I feel like that would be after. Well, they already brought in Luke Cage. They're bringing in Luke Cage in December of next year. Okay. Yeah. So um. And you know, unless unless my yeah. these, I might have the wrong date, but I think so. It's somewhere around that because we already know on uh jessica jones he put a huge role in the show yeah you know the, they're both actors yeah we just have to see how it turns out yeah exactly hey um let's talk about e3 real quick microsoft has released a bit of enough what they'll be doing for e this year mm -hmm. uh it will be the control the same it's you know controller wise so there's any difference between how it feels okay. in your hands but they said that they might change the cover up hmm. now that being like well, we, we will sell multiple of these cups. We will sell black, white, gray, ink, mm. blue, green, you know, and, you know, things like that, just to make it a bit different from yeah. other things. But I know PS4 already does that trailer, because yeah. they have, I think, skin in or something that you can that yeah. you can buy and buy, like, a camo for your controller or something. They've been doing that for a little while. Yeah. Uh, there is rumors on an Xbox One Elite, mm -hmm. which, I mean, will be kind of like the Xbox One one we talked about before. It'll be a, a slim version of the Xbox One. Yeah. But it will be, you know, a lot... It'll... I, it will fit into a, you know, a skeleton case in mm -hmm. Xbox One. It will be a lot lighter. And they're looking to improve the interaction between PC and Xbox. As we already talked about, um, X, uh, Rocket League and Smite and a few yeah. other free games are, are going... the first one. Yeah, too. Rocket League, which right now they're playing with some PC people. Oh, maybe, so. maybe, you know. Um, but to in, to increase the interaction with that, meaning that they, in the future, for instance, uh, Seven Days to Die, which is not a thing sometime this summer, might have the to um, come up with uh, PC interaction between yeah. Xbox and people like that. And that's neat because they're, if they're looking to improve, it's that more people will be willing to endorse Xbox for, you know, software mm -hmm. issues and trying to, you know, fan base, kind of like what PS4 is doing, yeah. taking that initiative and getting that PC, PS, you know. Well, let's, um, stay, you know, P. PS as a whole, not poor. PS and PC haven't connected for a little while. Oh, know? they have? Yeah, because, you know, we go back to Final Fantasy. I just scored on myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you go, it's just like those couple games, like Final Fantasy. I don't know the exact number. Yeah. But, you know, some of those games, they have been connected. As, like, PC had a relationship. Yeah. Now, the major... I, was, I didn't know that. Yeah, major change is going to be Xbox and PS4. Well, Xbox and well, PS4. Well, I think Xbox already, yeah, already, exactly. they've already said that they are down to to this. If PS did, then PS is going to want to... Yeah, I they're they like chill out they handling. They haven't, you know, released mm -hmm. any information as to if this is still, you know, yeah. on, for this or against it. They, like, released any news saying, yes, PS mm -hmm. is, and they're down for it. X has been, yes, we are down 
for yeah. we've signed the contract we're asked to do it i think i would honestly say if i was you know the owner of the corporation i would wait a little bit yeah to make sure that all the yeah, down, but which i can make sense but it, it has to be a thing that happens you know if you get that together a point we uh, have seen like many things that change in gaming history. Yeah. Like, stream video. We have game competitions nowadays. Yeah. That's gonna be we one. Have exactly. Yeah, and we and I think even like, ESPN's taking a hand yep. in sports now. We gotta have that um, advancement of in games, and I think that probably the next. It's just got a connection between. I, it, it, bring, bring people gamers in general because mm -hmm. bring them all together into one. If you can have someone playing, you know, Rocket League, playing from yeah. PlayStation, and even why PS, keep it divided? Yeah, it's why I have to come up with people to write, to write the software and we'll bring yeah. those together. Sure, you know, I know. You already read it yeah. somewhere. I yeah. know people can't. It's it's people. You know, people can code their yeah. asses off. Yeah, huh. yeah. Some people are a lot smarter than us. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. smarter than me. I'm a oh, okay. I'm a fist up made up. <laughs> Hey, I was computer science, so it should be hard. You see where my life is gonna go. Yeah. Down the drain. <laughs> well, let's get to something we talked about before with uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Ugh. Uh, Warfare storyline. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not gonna be Ghost as it was uh, hinted at earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, with a remastered monitor for 110 which has down the price to, to $79, which is 80 And the regular price just being Infinite Warfare for 60 mm -hmm. Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare for, I think, 80 Then mm -hmm. Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare, and a season pass for 110 Okay. Um, the Modern Warfare will contain 10 multiplayer maps. Really? Yeah. Do you think that's a little bit less? But we've, we've, we've as, as as time has progressed, mm -hmm. call has diminished in the amount of as a multiplayer maps because oh, yeah. find more appealing that people get yeah, DLC, DLC, which is four maps, which makes it, you know... Yeah. You know, within uh, like, especially with the new uh, Call of Duty, I've kind of complained about mm -hmm. some of my friends that it doesn't have maps. Yeah. There's been like at least I think to ten maps, and I think like other ones had more. And I didn't even buy DLC; mm -hmm. they had more maps. Yeah. In fact, they have shortened the time limit as to when they release games and mm -hmm. whatnot. That goes up to the aspect of wanting, you know, not having the same time as they did before to work on different projects. Yeah, they would have difference to work on different. It's things. always funny thing. It's so, but, um, but Activision doesn't need money. I know they have. <laughs> They're signed with Blizzard. Exactly. Now. <laughs> I mean, it, it's stupid, but you know yeah. they have high support from Call of Duty fans all around yeah. the world, well, and, and they're still doing that. Yeah. You know? Well, in a little tidbit, apparently Blizzard actually had uh, talked to a few employees from Activision, mm -hmm. a few high-end employees, actually get their first-person view for uh, Overwatch. Mm -hmm. I guess it's an idea, but you have you got to think about feed from oh, yeah. what new you're using it from a Call of Duty standpoint, where Activision and Blizzard are both signed up. Mm -hmm. It would make sense for Blizzard to talk to EA. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. It's going to see enemy to them. <laughs> yeah, it will in a way. Uh, Doom creators, Doom, Doom. Doom. We're not yeah. talking about the movie. Talking about the, the movie was great. My opinion. <clears throat> I know it's bad, but I like it. <laughs> Doom creators cannot beat the game on the hardest difficulty. That yeah, see, that's that's that. I really did. They really didn't say as what it is, but they can't beat it on the highest difficulty. That just makes me want to play. I'm not the biggest Doom fan, but shh. I'm a very big. Fan. I know you are, and <laughs> I do three especially. That was a great game. I see. I was. Uh, I used to be scared of them. Oh, yeah, honestly, everybody had their, everybody was nice save. Yeah, that was a good save. Even though you you were supposed to, buddy. But, yeah. Uh, okay. But you know I, that's pretty dope. I find that kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of like um, division being part of shit to complete. Mm -hmm. But uh, Fallout 4 survival mode is now official PC, mm -hmm. which we play. I play Fallout 4, and I've actually kind of slowed down since I put minimal about an hour to it. Yeah, we were doing that. Logo playing fall off. Yeah, we wouldn't. <laughs> uh, Fable developer Longhead Studio officially closed down last week. Wow. Microsoft closed them down officially. That's crazy. And yeah, just to just to finish this up, Steve, the, the, let's do a little bit heart tearing. I'm gonna pull your heart a bit. Don't go break in my heart. Ryan Reynolds, letter to Deadpool, who died of cancer. I've seen that. Yeah. Oh my. A 13 year Connor McGrath. I might not have the I might not have the yeah, honor of talk play, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and share this with you because I I, I cried a bit when I yeah. heard this. Connor McGrath, a th uh died after a three-year battle mm -hmm. this is his quote pool aspires to be balancing pain fearlessness love and filthy sense of humor was quoted by ryan reynolds about connor mm -hmm. i feel like that's a little hard touching then i need to talk because i don't have the honor about connor it's crazy i didn't man. know him yeah but that's story, story touching. it shows people it shows are, character exactly it, you know it's a reasonable amount of character that makes you you know not hit anybody you know, silly things that happen it shows that we still do have heroes, you know yeah. it shows that even though we won't we don't have stars. We still have that much of a bleeding we can of this, so. Yeah. I say, I, I feel a little bit heart wrenched when I read and I have to admit, Ryan Reynolds said, before you guys dog on me for, you know, mm. being, showing this 13-year-old kid a rated R movie, Deadpool, mm. and he knew, I think I quote, he knew how to than a sailor. Yeah. And I'm not, I might be misquoting that. That's probably right. I have to admit, for Ryan Reynolds to go out and say that this mm -hmm. was one of the best things that he could do for this kid oh, during yeah. that time, it's kind of like... I refer back to this in a way. Um, 
he, another, I think a dude, a, a guy died of, who was a really big fan of Star Wars, mm-hmm. and he died, I think, a week before the movie was actually shown in theaters. I think I uh, that one. A, and I think Harrison Ford and, um, I think Harrison, mm-hmm. like, pushed J.J. Abrams to actually let him see the movie, mm-hmm. which is honestly a really, like, honoring, because it yeah, takes, you know. takes, doesn't just a lot of respect, it just it takes a line, and you have to push the envelope, yeah. because you have to push a film early, or, like, earlier for someone to see, and they might, you know, be, you know, Spoil it for everybody. So, oh God, this happens. Yeah. And then, I doubt you know anybody going through that situation to do that. I doubt. I highly doubt it. You know, let to know that we have all the people that are making these amazing movies, acting in it, to see that they you know. So hard. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. Point like you guys out there. You know. If all you guys, of us, yeah, say if you're someone who's going through it, I I don't. I personally don't know how it feels because I've yeah. never had someone lost. She I. No, I have not. I have not had someone lost to cancer, and I guarantee that is probably the most harnishing thing you can go yeah. through. See, so yeah, I throw my feelings out there for you, and if I had money, which is which is what this channel is, I, angles I'm, I want to do with this channel is I want to donate to charities. Yeah. And don't I, just I, buy potatoes. Yeah, I, I want to give back to people who can't themselves. Yeah. I want to kind of give people an option to you know accept what I'm trying to do and not just say, this person's doing it because he has mm-hmm. an egotistical... I yep. want to do it because of this exact, because I've been given so much in my life. So, from a potato to everyone out there, do something good, you yeah, know? you'll tear for it. Because yeah. I volunteer at a, at a soup kitchen. I volunteer, I volunteer uh, an animal shelter. I say, it's, you get a lot of interesting characters. Yeah, it's even a lot if of fun. you don't volunteer, you know you've done something good yeah. for somebody you've done, else. You've, and, you know, thank you. off the streets, and, yeah. or you've given them your leftovers. It's, it's something you got to smile every day and be like, I did something that I need. I. Keep being awesome. You guys are great. Well, Steve, to end that note, everybody for joining us, especially with the last heart run talk that we just had. But I appreciate everybody staying with us this time. And if you guys would leave a like, comment, and subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. And we will talk to you guys next time. Peace. Thanks.